It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it's all up next. On a picture-perfect Midwestern afternoon for football, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, it's a rematch of last year's hard-fought AFC Divisional Round matchup, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, the AFC has largely belonged to the Kansas City Chiefs in recent years. They've won three of the last four AFC titles, two Super Bowls along the way. But each of these two teams has knocked on the door, and both would seem to be among the favorites to unseat KC in 2023. And both of them should be because we know they are more than capable at the quarterback position. Both of them have all-stars taking snaps each and every week. The key for both of them playing each other, can they find that advantage, not only to win the game, but mentally, that says we are the team that can take on Kansas City down the road. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Cincinnati. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Bengals now set for their first possession. And it's pro bowler Joe Burrow who leads this offense in his fourth season now out of LSU. Burrow may be young in his career, but he's helping the Bengals to one of the best stretches they've ever seen. 12 wins last year, which matched the team record, and they made a conference championship game in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time ever. At the center of it all is the man they call Joey B. 35 touchdown passes last year and almost 4,500 yards. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend. Tyler Moore, and he's going to go. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And every time you step on the field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 36. We're all going to give this to Mixon. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw complete there to Smith. And he will reach the eight yard line before going out. A very solid gain of 27. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. And Boyd in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and a run up the middle with Mixon. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. 
here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now a run with Hubbard. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Mixon. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Allen going to throw. He's got it. Oh, he put it on the cargo fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Defensively well done to jar that free. I'll tell you what, though, offensively, he's got to be lucky after the catch and the fumble that that didn't go too far away from him. And the way the football is shaped, it's not built to bounce true, is it? It can be squirt in any direction and move in any way. He was so lucky. Thank his lucky stars he was able to get that one back. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22.
Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now Allen. That's complete to Sherfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player, a guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. First down, here's Burrow. Short throw to Smith. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Mixon with a first down carry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 29-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now second and five. Burrow going to get this out to Chase. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it to mix it on the check down. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. McPherson's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Now Hardy on the return. And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Allen now on first down. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On play action, Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. This a second and seven from the 37. To throw, it's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Again, they'll throw with Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid, and he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. On second down, here's Allen. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up.
They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Allen to throw once more. And that will be incomplete. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted and spotted at the 14-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And Amp, as a result, knocks it down. On second down, Burrow, open man is chase complete. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. Deontay Hardy back deep. That's taken at around the 40. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Gets this one to Morris. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and three. Allen. Complete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To the air, Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Well, dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll try to meddle with Cook. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? 
Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Here's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Touchdown, Bills! Trent Sherfield from six yards away. And the Bills have taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that makes it 14-10. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here, first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And he will find his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Jordan Phillips is the one on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 23, here's second and nine. Burrow will throw. going to be incomplete. And the Bengals on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now here's Brad Robbins now. Here's Hardy set to return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. He's 
They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Here's Allen on first and ten. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A give to Cook out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. D.J. Reader, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 17-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And he's got it. Touchdown. Dalton Kincaid. From 17 yards out, and the Bills are able to extend their lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive in total eight plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here they'll look to make some inroads here trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10 to pass and he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now here's second and three. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Now a quick throw there but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. Oh, 
They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Now this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. On first down, Allen. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Second and ten. Allen going to throw. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? Zach Taylor's made the decision. He's going to go ahead and throw out the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 37. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way. And they continue to move the ball downfield. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Allen now looks to throw. Caught right side, Davis. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. On second down, Cook. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Third down and one. Throwing now is Allen. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. 
Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the first down, and more than that, touchdown, Bills! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs, and the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there, going for it on fourth down, but hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bengals set to take over. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He completes it to Boyd. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. It'll be Mixon on the out route as the pass is caught. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. From midfield now, Burrow. This is caught, it's Boyd. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, 50 yards. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. McPherson now for the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from Tyler Boyd. to the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Allen now on first down. 
From that side of Kincaid. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, it's Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Davis. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Allen going to back away and call a timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second down in a yard. To throw, it's Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, this from 53. And that is no good. And this will remain an 11 point spread. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had three catches in that opening part of the game and wound up with a touchdown reception as well. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And his throw is going to be incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and ten. 
from midfield. Here's Allen. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They give people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Here's Cook again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Throwing is Allen on third. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Throwing on first down is Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Now Allen. That is caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Allen. That's caught, Kincaid, for the Bills' touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half.
Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Back to Mixon on second down. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Third and two, now Burrow. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. Gets around him, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 41-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. First down, here's the run with Cook. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. A gain of two brings up second and eight. This is second and eight. Allen now on the option right and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. They give those two yards right back and now they're looking at a third and ten. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about ten yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Looking for Diggs and it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, 
they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. Second and three at the 33 yard line. Option play, Burrow holding on to it. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. On the return, Hardy. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Here's Allen on first and 10. It's complete to Cook. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo, 51 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, Really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Here's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to add on to that lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. 
Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to <laughs> hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long, but a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, give them credit for trying, but there is no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. They work now on second and nine. Here's Burrow. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him don't you think and those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass yeah that's a big miss these guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. When you're in man coverage, you have help over the top, you become a much more confident defender. Trail the receiver and know that someone over the top can make a play, and that's exactly what happened here. The free safety coming up with the interception. Gabe Davis of the Bills offense set to get back to work. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who's just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. So after the INT, it's Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Throws a quick hitter on the slant, that's complete. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Cook up the gut. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Allen's throw is complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. Third and seven now. Here 
Here's Allen to throw it. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him, but even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking for Chase on the out route. He's got him. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And he's brought down 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants him to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Face it. Defense. That's a big letdown defensively. They had him stop behind the line, but the face mask going to bail the offense out. And the hand does not have to be up there for too long. Just a little bit of a grab is going to be enough to give the call and the 15 yards against them. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Now a second and ten. Earl going to get this out to Chase. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Again, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase from 17 yards out. And the Bengals are able to cut into that deficit. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good, we're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him, he gets it done. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. Kevin 
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Now Hardy on the return. There he goes, right side. And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. After return to midfield, I just wish we could open up the heads of the offensive and defensive coordinators because right now the wheels have to be spinning because things just changed. Offensive playbook just opens up, and now on defense, do you play aggressively or do you lay back a little bit to try and calm things down? And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. They run it again with Cook. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. This time they face a third and two. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down, and he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. 89 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Touchdown! Trent Sherfield with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Tyler Bass now for the point after. Come on, 
And they open the lead up now to 25 points. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He will find his man Chase complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw there, taken in by Smith. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now Burrow on first down. That's taken in by Higgins. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and three. To the air again, Burrow. Short throw to Smith. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Boyd's the target and he has it over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Caught on the slant. Touchdown, Bengals. It's T. Higgins with a touchdown pass from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals get a bit closer. McPherson on for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. So the drive there took six plays. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception.
So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. second down and we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort while they come out and take a look at him we will step aside for just a moment From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Again, it's Cook. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And it's third down. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Now Allen, that is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Charles, a lot of happy faces. 